Hello guys, welcome to another video, T. Paulino here and today I'm gonna talk about what happened to me during the COVID times where I actually lost my job in a big studio here in Vancouver, BC called Zoic Studios and how I managed to get out of the situation and, and get another job. So if you like stuff like this, please let me know in the comments below or leave a like here so that I can produce more stuff like this in the future. I've started on Zoic Studios before the strike of COVID. It was a pretty exciting time in my life because it was just the first studio on the visual effects industry that I've got. And started to work, things were going really well. And all of a sudden we started to hear about this strike that was happening on COVID in China and that it could be coming. And, you know, the reaction from everybody was just like, oh, it's not that much. It's the common flu and all of a sudden bro everything changed right the company started to send people to work at home where it stayed for about a month and after a while the work just started to wind down and that was when i really start feeling that things were kind of could have been going south and yeah basically feeling like everything that we were building so far on the last two or three years here in Vancouver and working hard to get investments that we made here that could just blow up and, and just, you know, I don't even know. All right, so here are the three things that helped me recover from this job loss and get another job on a triple A company called Scanline Studios here in Vancouver. All right, so thing number one, uh, social media media presence. Uh, during the period that I was at Zoic, uh, more or less in the middle of the six months that I've been there, I started I started working on this project called the Joker, and you've probably been seen here on my my Facebook channel, and that's one of the points: social media presence, uh, working on things online, independent of if it's uh, finished or not, uh, just being there as much as you can. Just publishing things and and you know connecting with people getting feedback and just more or less understanding where you are and what's interesting to the overall pub public because if it's inter interesting for a set of people it's certainly going to be interesting for you to talk to other people in the industry when you're looking for a job the second thing is uh when looking for things to, to do, search for things that complement your, your demo reel and areas that uh, you have gaps. On, during my period at Zoica, I started to realize that a, a few of the anatomical pieces were missing in my, in my demo reel. So usually on big studios, you will start to talk about muscle names and, and this kind of stuff, and you, it is important at least in my in my field to have some sort of piece that demonstrates that you know that thing that that thing you're talking about deeply and for me it was first the dual leap of face dissection and afterwards starting on the joker project which was a a technically oriented project for building a facial rig with joints and in a way or another, I hope you guys have seen part of it here in my Facebook page and YouTube. If you didn't see it, please check it out. So the third thing is share knowledge. Yeah, and that, you know, that secret sauce, the thing that you've been working on. Yeah, it might be interesting for you to share. You know, uh, it, I, I ain't going to lie. It's hard even for me sometimes. But the truth is, when you share knowledge, you get a lot of stuff back as well and that's what ma that what makes the difference when we're talking to uh, people in the industry the recruiters or even the leads in places that you're going to work you're going to want to know what were the techniques that you that you were doing and actually on the scan uh, on the place that i got the job scan line the lead was able to then see uh doing all the, the hours of of knowledge that i've shared most of the things that i that i was doing and like what what were the te techniques that i was comfortable with and i'm pretty sure that was a big different show on getting this job and fourth as a bonus here 
uh, is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is just the place for you to be if you are a visual effects artist, as I am right now, or if you are a 3D modeler, which is also a visual effects artist, uh, you must be on LinkedIn. If you want a job in the industry, all the recruiters are there. And when I say that all of the first three points, the recruiters are gonna be looking at this. And at least in my experience, when I was looking for a job and I got this job at, uh, at Scanline now, uh i was asked multiple times what was the project about and uh how i what i was thinking and why i made the choices that i made and what are the techniques that i'd use to achieve the results so when you achieve some something that you get visibility or putting it in another way this is something that you gotta build right because uh, I got this, I got noticed this time, but it's also something that I've been building on the last three to four years on LinkedIn. So recruiters are gonna start looking at your work and as you progress in your career, they're gonna have some familiarity with, with what you're doing and all of a sudden the opportunity is gonna come and you're gonna have this opportunity in your hands. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, the four points are social media presence close the gaps on your demo reel and face the competition that is in the market right now share knowledge create content that helps other people truly and linkedin there's no way around it you gotta go to linkedin and it, that's where you're gonna get hired for sure talk to the recruiters there uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this content and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.